the friendly policeman, well known for his generosity, happened upon an abandoned trailer tucked away in the middle of the forest, he was shocked to find a starved and abandoned youngster but everyone who heard the situation's heartbreaking truth was moved to tears of sympathy, one quiet afternoon at the local station, as veteran police officer Officer Peter was getting ready to wrap up and head home. The silence was broken by the ear-piercing sound of the emergency phone. Peter answered the phone, laughing with his companion about how emergencies always seem to happen right before you go, a voice, desperate and panicked, begged for help on the other end, it was a camper who, drawn by an inexplicable illumination coming from within, had discovered an abandoned trailer in the woods, but curiosity quickly gave way to fear as she heard unsettling sounds coming from the bottom of the trailer, please, please, please come quickly, the camper begged. His voice a mix of curiosity and panic, Peter remained calm and, using his wealth of expertise, told the man that they would look into it right away since they recognized how important the matter was, considering the problematic past of the region which was well known for its illegal activity and drug user population, Peter felt a heavy burden of responsibility. He took the keys to his car and drove into the woods with resolve, tucked out in the thicket. The deserted trailer had a bad reputation around town, drawing residents in with stories of paranormal activity and sightings, but Peter laughed these stories off as just attempts to spook kids and gullible tourists. Ghosts, ha, huh, he whispered, a hint of sarcasm playing on his mouth. Even though I knew the way to the location, the approaching night created a spooky mood as the sun gave way to the gloom, the forest came to life as dusk approached. The sound of far-off nocturnal animal sounds permeated the atmosphere, and a brisk wind made the trees whisper to one another, Peter was skeptical of ghost stories, but when he drove deeper into the forest's darkness with his car's headlights cutting through the blackness, he couldn't help but feel a shiver, he was alert his senses sharpened by the potential for illegal activity as well as a survival instinct that makes sense in such remote and enigmatic circumstances. The tale of the abandoned trailer followed him throughout the night, serving as a constant reminder that, in his line of work, unexpected events were expected rather than actual anxieties. Peter eventually parked the car when he came to a point where the road gave way to nature, indicating the end of vehicle access, with a final look back at the route he had taken he set out on foot into the uncharted territories of the forest. Encircled by impenetrable vegetation and shrouded in a thick layer of nighttime darkness, the policeman firmly refused to admit his dread, even as he struggled with a deep sense of loneliness, in addition to the physical exertion, his pulse beat with anticipation of what lied ahead, he held his firearm firmly in his right hand and prepared for anything that might come up, while he fearlessly held a flashlight in his left hand to light the way. Peter's mind was plagued by unsettling memories of terrifying tales that had transpired in that woodland, among the sounds of the wind rustling through the trees, his head was filled with memories of the crimes he had looked into there, the murder victims' lives lost, the ghostly figures said to haunt the area, unsolved cases, unexplained bodies, and enigmatic rites carried out deep within the forest, his anxiety increased with every step but his unflinching bravery and devotion to duty carried him further with an unbreakable resolve to protect other people's safety, he could feel life all about him when he ventured farther into the forest, rustling noises and brief motions among the trees revealed life, as a result, he remained watchful, turning and aiming his torch into the unknown chasm but was met with an eerie quiet. Peter soon discovered that the camper who had made the call was not there when he approached the agreed-upon spot which added even more mystery to an already anxious scenario, there was still a hint of mystery, but it was clear that caution or terror had driven them away, but soon, the only sign of life in the surrounding darkness drew Peter's attention, a dim light coming from within the abandoned trailer, Peter stepped forward gingerly, his heart palpitating and adrenaline coursing through him. Certain that he would find young people involved in criminal activity running for their lives in this barren place, though his grasp on the weapon quivered slightly in anticipation of the impending conflict more than out of fear, he took deliberate precautions to minimize noise, even in this remote corner of the globe, he was ready to enforce the law, the officer paused to gather his thoughts and get ready for what was about to happen before moving forward. Using his shoulder to pry open the trailer door, he moved quickly and decisively, demonstrating his ability to overcome difficult situations, when he stepped inside the trailer, it shook, alerting whoever was waiting for him inside, police, everyone hands up and on your heads, Peter cried out, putting himself in close proximity to the entrance to block any escape, but the stillness that engulfed them was unbearable. 
There was no sound or reaction other than his own voice echoing through the little trailer. He frowned in bewilderment, taken aback, his mind rushing to make sense of the perplexing circumstances. He stepped through the little doorway and through the cramped trailer, every step echoing in the deep solitude. He still felt certain that there had to be more. As seen by his comment when he saw the small stone and branch sculpture in the center of the trailer, his search for answers continued. Broken only by a soft, almost silent sound coming from the back of the trailer, this noise caught his attention and made him feel anxious again. The officer stiffened, getting ready to fire again, his breath laboring and his heart pounding in his chest blending with the faraway sound of leaves rustling. Peter paused as he neared the door, presumably the one that led to the bathroom, before opening it. He was dumbfounded by the sight that met his eyes. For a few period, the man stood very still. Trying to believe what he was seeing, with a barely audible voice, he said, No, it cannot be, lowering his gun gradually, a little, quivering youngster with an emaciated appearance that revealed his anguish appeared before him. He felt a wave of emotion come over him as the child's big eyes met his own. Peter was stunned by the poignant scene and couldn't quite put it into words. His years of duty and training had not equipped him for this kind of interaction. Why are you here, boy, he said. Bending over and observing the child's terrified expression when he saw the pistol, he holstered the handgun quickly, trying to convince the boy of his good intentions. He took off his coat and laid it softly over the boy's shoulders, providing the boy with what warmth and comfort he could in spite of the piercing chill that pervaded the room. Thoughts raced through his head when he tried to make sense of the child's mysterious presence, asking politely, how did you end up here alone? The officer tried to find out where the boy's parents had gone. The officer was deeply moved by the child's quiet answer, which was merely a trembling produced by the audible rumble of his hungry stomach. The police quickly inspected the rest of the trailer in an attempt to locate the youngster's guardians, but soon discovered that the child was, in fact, alone. Peter extended his hand to help the child as he got ready to go back to the car, but when they were leaving the restroom, he found himself motionless again because of something in the space that caught his attention, the starving and undernourished youngster, who was now known as Henrik, was in front of him. Following a few stressful and confusing moments, Henrik struck up a conversation with the officer, revealing details that would leave Officer Peter completely stunned. The officer started piecing together the circumstances surrounding an occurrence that occurred around seven months ago, a tragic tragedy that had profoundly affected the entire town. As soon as he found out the name of the abandoned youngster, when the woman lost control of the car and crashed it into a tree, it was a terrible accident that killed her. Her son Henrik's whereabouts had remained a secret, leaving a perplexing and unanswered question in his wake. Investigators had found indications of intentional tampering with the car's brakes, but the reason for the crash and the circumstances surrounding his disappearance remained a mystery. It wasn't until the child collected himself and related his harrowing story that the awful truth, which would surely surprise everyone who heard it, began to surface. Henrik revealed the horrific story behind his extreme suffering, pointing straight to his own father, Christian, in a voice that was shaking, driven by a poisonous mixture of resentment and an unwillingness to accept his marriage's termination. Christian carried out a depraved act of retaliation. He purposefully messed with his ex-wife's car's brakes, causing the fatal collision that happened to her. She had made arrangements to escape his hold, hoping to start again in a far-off place and keep her son safe from the evil and cruel guy. But Christian would not allow her to leave that simply. Christian took a dark and desperate choice after realizing the seriousness of his offense and seeing his unconscious son. He spirited Henrik from the scene of the collision and took him to a dilapidated cabin tucked away in the middle of a remote woodland. Christian wanted to start again in this isolated haven, far away from the prying eyes of the locals, and escape the grasp of the law. Peter's dismay at what Henrik had revealed to him and his sympathy for the youngster grew with every word. It was incomprehensible that a father could do such a horrific thing to his own family members. Peter's inner monologue reverberated as the boy proceeded to describe his ordeal. It can't be true. He's been alive all this time. After bewildering the authorities for months, the mystery behind Henrik's disappearance was finally starting to come to light, but the reality turned out to be much darker than anyone could have imagined. The boy's survival took place against the backdrop of an abandoned cabin hidden by thick undergrowth deep within the forest. His days were dominated by ceaseless attempts to escape, not just from the physical captivity but also from the oppressive presence of a father whose mere being inspired fear and suffering. Instead of being a source of love and safety, 
this father figure ended up being the main reason behind Henrik's anguish, he was strict, unforgiving, and lacking in any real affection, yet in his perverse way he tried to build a relationship with his son, these attempts, nevertheless, did nothing but highlight the savagery of his own nature, even at the age of seven, the youngster understood the horrific reality of his mother's death, which caused him to feel a great deal of pain and bitterness, his longing for freedom was stoked by this insight and grew stronger every day, the child kept saying to himself, I hate him, I hate him, trying to make it stick in his mind that this man was the one who had made his life into a nightmare come true. There were multiple attempts to get away, but they were all unsuccessful, with every recapture, the terrible truth of his circumstances and his resolve to escape only became more apparent, every time he went back to the cabin, he felt more and more hopeless and overwhelmed by grief, but then something unexpected happened that would change the boy's story forever, a famished female dog with several puppies emerged near the trailer, as if the cosmos had heard his silent prayers for a miracle. Christian reacted instantly to destroy the animal in his ferocious and heartless way, he reached for a shotgun and started shooting randomly, the guy was attacked by the dog in a last-ditch attempt to protect her puppies, which made him trip and hit his head on the ground, killing him. The dog and nearly all of her puppies suffered terrible injuries as a result of the disorderly and violent occurrence, even though she made a heroic effort to defend herself. The child watched in disarray as the distraught mother hobbled about her litter, sobbing, one of the puppies, miraculously, came out unharmed, the youngster bravely decided to hold the dog in his arms out of sympathy, his heart thumping with every step, he set off on a voyage into the forest. Driven by a mixture of terror and hope, he fled his depressing reality in search of an uncertain future that would stand for freedom, he eventually came upon an abandoned trailer, which gave him a moment to relax, take a breather, and plan his escape, he used the fundamental survival skills he had learned in school to build a fire with stones and branches while the puppy was at his side, a camper noticed this flickering light, which was a glimmer of hope amidst the deep darkness of the forest, and Officer Peter was drawn to it. He was suddenly overcome with a cold panic that maybe his father, who was thought to be dead, had come back to haunt him and was taking refuge in the bathroom. After the dramatic events in the forest, he gripped tightly to the puppy, his devoted companion on this unexpected trip from suffering to redemption. Peter quickly called for more help, and the authorities showed up at the cabin. The investigator's presence verified the terrible conclusion Christian, the person responsible for a great deal of suffering, had died. That was when Henrik, the youngster who had faced unfathomable adversity, saw hope for the first time, but there was a cost associated with this renewed hope, with tears welling up in his eyes, Henrik sat in the ambulance and grasped onto the dog, who was now wrapped in a warm blanket, these tears came from the stark reality of being completely alone in the world, without a mother or anyone else, rather than from fear, the police who had saved Henrik, Peter watched this moving scenario with a mixture of pity and resolution as his heart was heavy with the boy's grief, he knelt down beside Henrik and comforted the scared child, saying, you're not alone, Henrik, in a forceful but kind manner, you will be cared for by my wife and me until we find you a permanent home, do you find that acceptable, with the intention of giving the youngster the much-needed sense of comfort, Peter tried to tell him, you're safe now, Henrik gave Peter a tight embrace. Tears welling up in his eyes at the unexpected news, a glimmer of hope flickered within him at that very moment, he had not felt so connected and warm in a long time, the officer and his spouse enthusiastically welcomed Henrik and his animal friend into their home, fully embracing their new role as parents, their arrival brought a fresh lease of life and happiness to the home that had been lacking for a while, with newfound energy, Peter now greeted every workday at the office. Looking forward to coming home to a house full of playfulness, laughter, and their happy dog, a strong bond developed over the months between the youngster, his devoted friend, and the couple, the officers and his wife's formerly peaceful and ordinary lives were transformed into true happiness by this profound connection, which beyond all expectations, after a span of seven months, what started out as an altruistic gesture transformed into an irreversible connection. The people who had filled their lives with unfathomable love entwined themselves with Peter's heart, acknowledging the intensity of their feelings, they decided to formally adopt Henrik and his faithful friend. Completing their family unit, everyone's life were about to embark on a new chapter, and the adoption process was a mixture of sentiment and excitement, after going through times of darkness and loneliness, 
Henrik discovered a family who loved and looked out for him and them, so, in the midst of playing in the backyard, eating together, and spending joyful evenings as a family, they created a life together that is characterized by the unbreakable tie of love, no matter what happens. After watching the story above, do you have any thoughts? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments section. If you enjoyed our video, please like, subscribe, and share our channel. That all about today's story. See you next time.